in the United States. In the race for the White House, former President Donald Trump has accused President Biden and Vice President Harris of not providing any support to storm-ravaged communities in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. The ex-president questioned the authenticity of a photo posted on Harris's social media account showing her engaged in official duties aboard Air Force Two. In the photo, Kamala Harris says she's talking with officials who briefed her about the impact of, of the hurricane that has already killed over 130 people so far. The post went viral with more than 40 million views in just 24 hours. With just over a month until voters elect a new president, everything that can become political will become political, especially and including hurricane recovery efforts. The Republican presidential nominee attacked his opponent on Truth Social, saying, quote, another fake and staged photo from someone who has no clue what she is doing. You have to plug in the cord into the phone for it to work, end quote. During a visit to Hurricane Hit Georgia, Donald Trump said he spoke to billionaire Elon Musk about getting Starlink Internet access to the affected areas. They don't have communication. They don't have anything right now that they're we're trying to. I just spoke to Elon. I'm getting him. I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever. And, and throughout the region, our hearts are with you and we are uh, going to be with you as long as you need it. It's called an hour of need. You're in our prayers and we pray to God. And throughout this long weeks, the long weeks that lay ahead, you're going to have a lot of work. But the end result is it's going to be good. Now, it's important to note the Federal Emergency Management Administration, or FEMA, is already working with Starlink to provide Internet access to those hit, hard hit communities. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris canceled campaign stops on the West Coast to focus on recovery efforts. The Democratic presidential nominee says she herself plans to be on the ground as more than 3,000 personnel assist with recovery efforts in the storm's aftermath. So far, more than 3,300 federal personnel are on the ground to assist with recovery efforts. They are deploying food, water, and generators. And we continue to work with teams on the ground to restore water and power as quickly as possible. I plan to be on the ground as soon as possible, but as soon as possible without disrupting any emergency response operations because that must be the highest priority in the first order of business. Hurricane Helene's destruction has completely upended the key battleground states of both Georgia and North Carolina. In fact, entire communities have been washed away, including homes and businesses. This will make for an uncertain voting infrastructure with just over 30 days to go until the election. And in a race shaped by uncertainty, the level of unknowns has only just been amplified. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.